folks, this is Iowa with and we're back with some more World Tanks. So as you can see, this is Rock once again back in his Type 58 this time. It's a Tier 8 battle on uh, Hidden Village, that's the one. Totally remember that when I hit Tab, that wasn't me looking at the name at all. Um, so bottom tier in a Tier 8 battle, this should be fun. But before we get into the game, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It really does help me out a lot more than you may think it does. Uh, if you want to talk to me, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Duckster links are all in the description below. And the best way to support the channel by far is to donate straight directly to my Patreon account. Also, the link is in the description below. Anything else that I need to say at the start of battles? Um, I think we're good. So let's jump on into this one. Uh, let's actually change this so that we can see the names of tanks! And unfortunately, for some reason, XVM isn't working. Interesting. Oh well, so this is a replay back from 9.2, so there's going to be some changes that you may not uh, fully understand. Oh, that's the other thing for us. If you have an older replay and you would like it recorded, I do do that. I can record anything back to 8.8, .8, uh, and it will cost you a small fee. That's it. So this should be fun. So currently Ironic is one of three mediums on our team, but he's the only one over here in the village. Now we do have a KV-1S. This is the old KV-1S coming over to join him. So he will have an ally, but if that T-69 ends up in, in this village with him, he's going to run into serious problems because he's not going to be able to out DPS a T69 unless he bounces every shot or or something to the effect or the T69 is distracted. Either way, it, it's going to be a problem if the T69 shows up. Apparently, he's decided not to. Interesting. Tyronic's so going to push forward a little bit. Ooh, MT25. Now, unfortunately, Ronic couldn't hit that guy before he got into cover. But of course, it does present everyone with the fact that Ronick is now here. Now, it looks like Ronick doesn't have six cents on this tank, so we'll keep that in mind. Uh, and will the MT25 remember that he's here? Nope. Apparently, the MT25 wanted to get shot a second time, or he was so scared of the KVNS he didn't mind dying. He looks like he's about to. Yep. Well, he's dead now. No, he's not dead. Huh. Interesting. Well, he probably should be, and uh, if I'm ironic, he's about to be. Ooh, never mind. Friendly Low decided to take him out instead. Sadly. Ooh. Okay, that's not good. That's that's one shot. He's got three more left in the chamber. And Rock's trying to side scrape here. Two shots. Three shots. Four shots. He's reloading. So he does have a KV-3 as backup, which is not good. Ronick first takes off his track, and now he's going to more or less perma-track me. Now, as Ronick is doing this, he's either watching the clock or he's counting in his head to make sure he doesn't go past this guy's reload. He does not want to be still here when this guy reloads. There we go. So he's fairly confident he's going to reload in a second, so that's why he's side-scraping now. And he's got him trapped in a beautiful... Uh, Permatrack situation, and that's again four rounds from the Type Six or the T69. Oof. Unfortunately, he did manage to penetrate with two of them. The rock's not on a lot of health anymore. He's going to have to really be careful now. Of course, there is a KV3 in front of him. Uh, you'll notice the little star above the KV3's head. That means the KV3 doesn't have the top turret. Um, or possibly has the top turp and not the top gun. Either way, uh, just little things to keep in mind. So he's not as dangerous as he could be, but he's still dangerous enough. It's still a KV-3. M6? Okay, well, side shots into the M6 is something we will always take. M6 seems to be looking at us, so Rock is going to back off. Uh, you can tell he's looking at you... Uh, because, of course, when you can see his outline, if you don't see his gun in the outline, he's either looking at you or he's looking directly away from you. 
and that's something you're just going to have to either uh, use an educated guess to figure out or guess at. I hate guessing at that friend. Ooh, look at that. En dead enemy uh, T-58, Type 58, whatever. The unfortunately, Ronick didn't get that kill, but that's okay. Still going to push in. Now, the team is winning, which is good. Uh, but Ronick has dealt with uh, one of the tier 8s, so, you know, <laughs> he's definitely been... Hey, look at this! And now we're around the other side of a KV-3, and Ronick's gonna be very careful about how he handles this guy, because he is gonna want to... I was gonna say he's gonna want to circle him until he can kill him, or he can just blow his ammo rack up. That would work too. A few times, Type 58 does 700 damage in a single shot. Wow. Okay, so now there's only a 120, or SU-122-44 out left, and the FB-304 out. Since we know where both of them are, well, let's go kill them. Now, I personally would stop and aim at this point, but Ronick doesn't want him to do that kind of thing. Get in the dip, and then be out of range. Gonna pause it here for a second. Saronic has taken about 400 damage for this game. He went up against a KV3 and a Type 69 in a Type 58. A69. Don't you dare tell me just because you're bottom tank, you have no chance of winning. 2,000 experience without a daily double, with a premium account. This is obviously his ace tanker. And almost 50 grand in credits in a tier 6 game. Wow. Killing a KV-3 and a T-69. Now, of course, the T-69 doesn't need 1,000 damage to a C-69. That's like 10 hits. And the KV-3, he did, again, another 1,000 damage. But this was over about 4 hits. It was an exceptional game. And unfortunately, he didn't get the kill on the MT-25 or the Type 58, though he kind of deserved both those. He wasn't quite fast enough on the trigger to get them. Almost 3,000 damage done in a tank that does 150 damage per shot on average. That is incredible, and not the kind of thing that's going to happen all the time, which is, of course, why I'm showing it off. He is also bottom tier, and bottom tier by a lot. It's not like there was only like one tier 8 on the other team. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 tier 8s on the other team. Um, sorry, Cess use on a tier 7. So still, 8 tier 8s on the other team. That's about half the enemy team was tier 8. Yeah, he, he definitely deserved the experience and how far ahead of he, he is of the rest of his team. That was a well-deserved victory. 24 shots fired, 19 direct hits, a whack load of damage. Look at that. Now, he only had, like, 700 health to begin with. Two shots actually hit him and, and were absorbed, and they're not counted in the figure. So he absorbed something like 1,300 points of damage and only took 400 of it internally. A little bit of spotting damage, that would of course be for tracking the T-69, which then got destroyed by our uh, 25 T-25 AT. I think it was an AT. It was, yay. Uh, and he made 43 grand in profit. Even without a premium account, it would have made 27 grand in profit. That was an awesome game. Thank you so much, Ronick, for saying it in. Thank you all for watching, and, uh, and if you enjoyed it, again, please hit that like button or consider subscribing for more awesome World of Tanks content. IOE Threat. Hey folks, this is IOE Threat, and we're back with some more World Tanks. Side scraping! How to counter a player who's side scraping. So the E100 is trying to side scrape, and you can see. Ooh, let's see where we're going. Ooh, Ronick is actually firing at the engine deck of the enemy tank. And, well, that makes sense. Because Ronick's gun is actually higher up than the enemy tank's engine deck, so he can aim down. And if he, if he concentrates right, and if he... Oop, well, yeah, T-57. Really? 
How, how did you miss that shot on the T57? Really? That was like a free shot. So the enemy in on her is getting really pissed that, that Ronick can somehow penetrate him uh, without being, you know, be, without exposing enough of his tank so that Ron or so this guy can kill Ronick. So Ronick's, yeah, again, gonna shoot for the engine deck. 